Okay, so Marius asked me to come on and give a little, what we're gonna start doing is some educational spotlights is what I like to call it. And I thought that today that I would introduce this uh, new concept to you to try and teach you and educate you just a little bit on some new something or another that has to do with crypto. I don't know what I'm gonna throw at you, but today it's gonna be the Ichimoku clouds. And I'm gonna try and simplify the Ichimoku clouds for you. Uh, there are a lot of very experienced traders here in Bitcoin Trend and Forecast and to know it platform. Uh, and in all our businesses that we deal with in Bitcoin Trend and Forecast that are far advanced from me in trading. So I'm probably not gonna teach you guys anything new <laughs> but if you're doing technical analysis and so, and so forth. But what I wanna try and do is give a little bit of education for those of you who are fairly new to cryptocurrency, some things that you can possibly use as you're advancing your skill sets into learning patterns and Fibonacci and advanced trading technical analysis skills. I wanna try and break down the Ichimoku cloud for you in two sessions. So I'm not gonna really show you how to use it today. I'm gonna to reserve that for next week's seminar. But what I wanna to do today is to give you the Ichimoku cloud and simplify it for you to start thinking about using it with your long-term swing trading. So I put together a little presentation. What I'm gonna give you today uh, to start thinking about on the Ichimoku clouds and how they work with uh, trading long term. And it might be able to benefit you in some of the technical analysis that you're starting to learn how to do. So what I'm gonna go over today is the general overview for Ichimoku clouds. What is an Ichimoku cloud? How does it work? Is it a leading or lagging indicator? and what is the best time frame to use with it for long-term trading, and which indicator actually works best with the Ichimoku cloud. And maybe you'll learn something about the Ichimoku cloud that you don't already know. So for the general overview, the Ichimoku cloud was developed by Guchi Husada. He is a Japanese journalist and published it in the late 1960s, okay? The Ichimoku cloud is an indicator which is made up of a collection of indicators and it's kind of basically considered to be an all-in-one indicator and it works really really good with long-term trading. So what does the Ichimoku cloud tell us or what does it show us? It is used for support and resistance levels. It's used for a momentum indicator. It's used to show the trend direction. It helps to determine the best time to enter and exit the market on trend direction. And it gives a very reliable strength of the market in your signals. What does it look like? What is it? What is the Ichimoku cloud? So as you can see, I took a screenshot last night of Aave. And Aave is a great coin. Marius has talked about it. We're scalp trading it in uh, HODL knots. And I believe that there's some day signals going on in Trendzig and Master Trades and on some of the different platforms that we have. Uh, Aave is just a great coin. So I took it for an example. But what you want to see here is the Ichimoku cloud consists of several indicators all built in together. It has a lagging span which in HODL dots, we call this Barney, okay? I don't know what you call it in day trade and I don't know what you call it in long term, but it's basically just a lagging span. Over here is the cloud and you have the clouds form in different levels of how big they are, how skinny they are, and they change colors and they meet and they turn different colors from red to green and you can see what they're doing. Over here in long-term trading, they use the conversion and baselines. We don't use them in short-term trading. The Ichimoku clouds work quite different when you go into day trading and you go into lesser trading like scalp trading. Uh, we use them differently and we teach that in our courses. And uh, But when you're looking for longer term trading, I'm gonna add the conversion and baselines and show you how to use those because they do work a lot differently in long-term trading. This is kind of like, really looks like a messy chart. 
<laughs> it looks like a bunch of scribbling lines everywhere. And I know that it looks difficult to read, but I'm going to break this down for you and show you how to read the Ichimoku clouds on next seminar or the next weekly webinar. But basically, you can see that these are the conversion and baselines that run within the lines. I've actually I've taken out the moving average at lines, so it's less confusing. But I'm going to show you these two skinny lines here. One's blue and one's red. And this is going to be a secret for you guys that I'm going to share with you on Ichimoku Clouds. And I know they're really kind of hard to see right now, but they're there for a reason. But the lagging span is back here and the cloud is up here in front. And what you're reading in a cloud is out in front. You're reading this area here and you're seeing, is the cloud shrinking? Is it blowing up? What is it doing? And how do I read and acknowledge and look at those clouds? And how do I look at the lines? When do I buy and when do I sell based on the Ichimoku clouds? So we will get into that. But how does it work? I wanna teach you guys a little bit about the Ichimoku cloud. The conversion in the baselines are really showing the middle of the nine moving average and the 26 period high and low. This means that they look back nine and 26 periods or candles and they take the highest and the lowest price levels during that period and plot it on the line in the middle of the range. That might be confusing for some people, but for those who have technical analysis, you should be able to get that. The conversion line is called Tenkinson. The baseline is called Kinjusen. What the conversion line is, it's the middle of the nine period high and low. The baseline is the middle of the 26 period high and low. So the base and the conversion lines act as support and resistance during trends. So for those of you who are doing technical analysis, you might not know that, but this is how they work. When the shorter line moves above the longer term line, it means a rising bullish momentum. All right, and vice versa. A cross of the two lines confirms momentum. And when the price moves above the two lines, it also confirms momentum. So the Ichimoku cloud is used for a very strong momentum and trend indicator. That's kind of basically dropping it down into a very basic synopsis of what the Ichimoku cloud does. But how does it work? The cloud uses a 52 period component as opposed to the nine and 26, it moves slower than the conversion in the baseline. The cloud confirms an uptrend when the price is above the cloud. So when you're looking at the cloud, when you see that the price is above the cloud, it's confirming an uptrend for you. A downtrend is confirmed when the price is below the cloud. So you'll need to be looking at the different price levels against the cloud. And you can find the cloud. You can find the Ichimoku cloud in your indicators on TradingView. Uh, if you just Google or you go into the indicator line and, and pull it up, you'll be able to add them to your screens. The space within the cloud is a noise zone. And trading here should be avoided. This is not the case for short-term trading. We, we trade all day long within and out of the clouds. So they work totally different for long-term trading. So I wanna make sure that you avoid trading within the space of the cloud. A rally is reinforced when the cloud is green and a strong downtrend is confirmed by a red cloud. So the, the, the color of the clouds matter when you're trading the trend. Is it a leading or lagging indicator? The Ichimoku cloud is considered to be a leading indicator because it looks back on two different moving averages, the nine and the 26. The aspects of the cloud itself, the lagging span, shows momentum carrying forward and future into the support and resistance. So they actually consider it a leading indicator instead of a lagging one. So what is the best time frame to use, to use the Ichimoku cloud? Uh, for long-term traders, you're going to want to use it on the daily or the weekly. It's the best time frame for long-term trading to use those Ichimoku clouds. Now, here is, it's very different for scalpers and day traders, and we teach that in our courses. But here is a secret that maybe you guys don't know, and I want to share this with you. It's on moving averages. The 52 moving average MA and the 17 MA 
if you put those on your chart and you see those two lines with the 26 period offset produces the same signals that you'll get in Ichimoku clouds. So if you don't like to use the clouds and they're too confusing for you on your chart, if you will plot out the 52 moving average and the 17 moving average when they cross, they will form exactly and produce the same signals as the Ichimoku clouds. So I wanted to share that little secret with you. Uh, for those who didn't know that, you might want to plot them and see how to use them with that. Uh, which indicator works best with the Ichimoku cloud? the RSI, the Relative Strength Index, and we teach that as well in our courses. But for those of you who are traders, most everybody, some people, the experienced traders will trade solely based on the RSI. It is one of the most powerful indicator tools for long-term trading. But when using the Ichimoku indicator to ride the trends, it is important to understand when the trend is over and when a potential reversal signals a trade exit. So you want to use your RSI to be able to see if it's overbought or if it's oversold, hitting the tops and the lows for your reversal trends. And most people will know when you get into that um, how the RSI works. So that's my little um, education for you today. Next week's lesson, we're going to go over the Ichimoku cloud signals, and I'm going to show you how to use and read the clouds and to trade with them. We're going to get more into a little bit of how we use that knowledge that I just gave you and how to use them to find your trades and how to use them to exit your trades. I'm going to give you the conservative exits and the aggressive exits and how to actually read the Ichimoku clouds. But I wanted to give you a little education on the cloud and I wanted to show you something new today, hopefully that you didn't know already and shared that with you. So um, hopefully you learned a little something. Uh, you'll find out how to use those Ichimoku clouds with your long term trading on the next webinar. So stay with us and we'll continue to give you some little educational um, knowledge as we go. So hopefully you learned a little something and um, it was good for you. Thank so you thank you for time. your time and we look forward to seeing you. Wendy, that's great. Thank you very much for that. Uh, a bunch of good information. We're going to upload this video, guys. You can come back and have a look at that again.